Your credit card is stolen. Your financial welfare hangs in the balance. Who has the card and what are they buying? A new neighbor moves in. Are your children still safe? Some are fun at the pool, but how clean is the water? These are just a few questions that can be answered thanks to Florida's generous public access laws. They are real life issues, issues citizens face daily in their communities. Open access laws allow us to monitor government officials and their actions, but they also allow us to obtain information to make more informed choices for ourselves, our families, and our communities. The public's right to get information about their government is a fundamental constitutional right in Florida. Florida's open government laws are some of the strongest in the nation. Access to public meetings and to governmental records provides us with the information we need to participate in the democratic process. With this information, we can better evaluate and monitor officials' behavior, ensuring an honest, competent, and responsive government. Information about our government provides one of the cornerstones of our democracy. Here at the University of Florida's Breckner Center for Freedom of Information, we're dedicated to helping people understand the state's freedom of information laws. In Florida, where we have a long and rich tradition of open government, we call them sunshine laws. This video will provide an overview of the state's sunshine laws, some of which date back to the early 1900s. The Florida Legislature passed the Florida Public Records Law in 1909. Chapter 119 of the Florida Statutes provides that citizens shall have virtually unlimited access to public records. The basic right of access to most government meetings is protected by the Sunshine Law, Chapter 286 of the Florida Statutes. A 1990 constitutional amendment provides for open meetings in the legislative branch. Florida voters approved a separate amendment in 1992 constitutionalizing the right of access to government information. This right of access specifically includes the legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government. These historic legislative developments can be broken down into two categories, laws that guarantee open meetings and laws that guarantee open government records. The first area we will examine is open meetings in Florida. The basic requirements of the Sunshine Law are that meetings of any public decision-making body must be open to the public. The Sunshine Law applies to any gathering where two or more members of a public board or commission discuss some matter on which foreseeable action will be taken by that board or commission. The Sunshine Law applies to most state, county, and municipal governmental bodies including county and city commissions, school boards, appointed boards or commissions, and private organizations providing services to public agencies. The Florida Constitution protects open access to meetings of the legislature, executive branch, and judiciary. But what does this mean to the average citizen? Does the Sunshine Law apply to the governor? State lawmakers have no power to require the governor or cabinet members to meet in public when they're exercising their constitutional administrative duties. What about private organizations? Are they covered if they receive public funding? The Sunshine Law does not usually cover private organizations, but there are exceptions. If a governmental body delegates its function to a private organization, its actions regarding the delegated duties are subject to the Sunshine Law. What about telephone calls and lunch meetings? Are these activities covered? Florida courts have ruled that whenever two or more members of a governmental body discuss matters on which foreseeable action could be taken by the body, the meeting is subject to the Sunshine Law. Examples of activities covered by the law include telephone calls, workshop or conference sessions, and meetings at which personnel matters are discussed. What meetings are not covered by the law? The Florida Supreme Court has ruled the Sunshine Law has no exemptions except those provided by statute. A few examples include meetings between government officials when discussing pending litigation involving the city and advisory committees involved solely in fact-finding activities. How will I know when an important meeting is taking place? The public must be notified about public meetings. Notice should include the meeting's time, place, and agenda if available. The notice should be prominently displayed in the agency's offices or meeting area. Emergency sessions should be announced through the most appropriate and effective channels providing the public at least 24 hours notice. What if I can't attend a meeting? How will I know what happened? 
Written minutes must be kept of all meetings and those minutes must be open for public inspection. Voting must be in the open. What if I want to attend a meeting that should be open, but it is closed? The chairperson of the public body or its attorney should be notified. Citizens may contact the state attorney's office to request help with securing a court injunction. Public officials face removal from office for obstructing access to open meetings. Violators have even served jail time. The next area of open access in Florida is government records. The Florida Public Records Law, Chapter 119 of the Florida Statutes, gives the public access to public records unless the legislature has exempted them from disclosure. This includes all documents made or received in connection with government agency business, regardless of the physical form, characteristics, or means of transmission. Documents are defined as all papers, letters, maps, books, tapes, photographs, films, sound recordings, data processing software, computer records, or other material. Examples of public records include most portions of arrest and crime reports, email messages made or received by agency employees in connection with official business, and salaries and expense reports of government employees. The Florida Supreme Court has ruled that government agencies must provide access to public records unless the legislature has specifically exempted them from disclosure. Before denying access, a public records custodian must specifically state, in writing if requested, which part of the law exempts the record. Examples of exempted materials include medical, birth, and adoption records, social security numbers contained in official public records, and most tax information filed with the Department of Revenue. There are more than 550 separate records exempted from the public records law. Let's look at what information is available for access. Can access records from a private company if it's doing business with the government? Generally, if the private organization is involved in the public agency's decision-making process or enters negotiations with an agency, it becomes an agency for the purposes of the public records law. I know that Chapter 119 guarantees access to public records, but how do I actually get a copy of what I need? The Florida Public Records Law states that any person can inspect and copy public records. The first step towards seeing a record is identifying the agency holding it and the person within that agency who is the records custodian. What if I make a request and it's refused? If you are refused access to a public record, you should cite Chapter 119 of Florida Law, which states, It is the policy of this state that all state, county, and municipal records shall at all times be open for a personal inspection by any person. Chapter 119.10 provides that any person willfully and knowingly violating any of the provisions of this chapter shall be guilty of a misdemeanor of the first degree. Any person who reasonably believes there has been a violation may seek an order from the circuit court to force disclosure. How much will I be charged for a record? If you want a copy of a record, the records custodian may charge only the actual cost of duplication. The law allows the records custodian to charge higher fees for certain records and when responding to a request that requires extensive assistance. What about records that are stored on computers? Am I allowed to look at what the government has stored electronically? Records that are kept on a computer are governed by the same rules as other public records. Courts have deemed that these computerized records are as much a public record as more traditional forms of storage such as printed files or books. Many agencies now have public records available through electronic access as a means to facilitate the public's access, examination, and copying of records. Florida is one of only four states in the country that has a constitutional amendment guaranteeing open government. And there are several measures guaranteeing open government in the Sunshine State. Open meetings are protected by the Sunshine Law, Chapter 286 of the Florida Statutes. Public records are protected by Chapter 119 of the Florida Statutes. The right of access to information is fundamentally important. And while these laws provide and guarantee the right to access a tremendous amount of information, they can also be pretty complicated. The legislature passes new exemptions every session. Currently, there are more than 900 exemptions which restrict access to certain information. In spite of this, Florida has some of the strongest open government laws in the country. It's up to each of us to protect them. Florida government is based on the will of the people. 
Citizens and the media must be able to monitor the activities of their elected representatives and their government. Open government is better government. Open government protects against waste, inefficient bureaucracy, and corruption. An open government is essential for a self-governing society. Each year, the Breckner Center answers hundreds of questions about how freedom of information laws work. If you need more specific information about the law or about the Breckner Center, please contact us at 352-392-2273 or visit our website at www.breckner.org. You can also reference the companion guide to this video by contacting the Breckner Center. Ask for Florida Government in the Sunshine, a Citizen's Guide.